What is going on my Lombard Warriors? It is I, Lombard King, coming at you with another Minecraft video. In today's video, I am going to go into the nether and see if I can find a nether fortress. I've been doing a few things, like, not on recording or anything. As you can see, I have a, a really large amount of obsidian. I'll need a flint and steel as well. So, I think I'm going to put the base or the um, portal I should say up on that mountain always looks good on top of the mountain so I'll just make that flint and steel right quick iron flint done okay so yeah I was like thinking what should I do next for the recordings and stuff and I'm all like you know what I'm gonna go to the nether I'm gonna I don't have very good armor right now but I mean like uh, I want to try to get a villager uh, system set up, like a village. I always make my own villages. So I have, like, I cleared out a lot of clearings and stuff like that. I'm probably going to build my own village so that I can uh, get some pretty decent stuff. Because I always do, um... Okay, I don't have a shovel, but that would be fine. Because I always, um... Get my villagers from... Two zombie villagers and just... Build on from there. Llama, you're gonna die if you don't stop. You know you're rich on Minecraft when you can build a base fully out of obsidian. It's a little bit bigger than most, but that should be fine. Okay, let's see where we end up. Frames are really taking a hit, but that's because I have Optifind in here. I should probably find out what the uh, <laughs> position of my... Whoa, calm down frames. I should probably see the position of what my fort... Uh, portal. I keep saying fort. Let me see here. Done. So, when I have to come back, I can just go right there. As you can see, I finally made it to the nether fortress. You can see the coordinates quite <laughs> the distance. I was probably well over an hour looking in the nether to find this nether fortress. And here I am. I built a little enclosure around this. I can probably take at least one of these torches away. I want them to spawn decently enough so that I can actually kill a few because apparently I've already killed like one or two and I haven't got any blaze uh, rods yet. So I want to get some blaze rods. As you can see, I already explored the base a little bit. I have a bunch of soul stand and nether wart, which are the key ingredients for potion making. Nether wart is, I should say. Uh, obviously not soul stand. Here we go. Let's see if I can get one from here. And still no blaze rods, so I'm just going to honestly take all these away. Let's just... Obviously, they're... I don't have very good of armor right now, but I'm taking them out before they even get a chance to hit me, so, like, there's no looting on this, but even still, that's a bit ridiculous that I still haven't got a blaze rod yet. I'm probably gonna... Oh, there's two. Give me a blaze rod, at least one. Oh, I got one. Nice. Nope, obviously I didn't die. Oh, there we go. Just eat some food right here. I thought I was gonna die there, to be perfectly honest, but... Oh, that's three blaze rods. Nice. Um, I'm just gonna stay in this room for a bit, and I'm going to grind out a bunch of blaze rods, probably get 20, 30, maybe even 40, and I'll cut back to when I'm done that. Okay... I am back. As you can see, I have 15 
blaze rods. That should be fine for now. So I think what I'm going to do instead of trying to find my way back in the nether, because that was a whole ordeal, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a nether fort, or nether portal, I should say, right here. And I can just... I think some people say that um, it just brings you back to your first portal, but if it doesn't, I'll just cut back to when I get to my base. And as you can see, I finally made it home. It was <laughs> quite a long distance, but what I decided to do is I went about 2,000 blocks in the overworld or more and just made another portal and then just found my way back that way. I realized after looking through everything that I hadn't actually put the coordinates of my house down anywhere, not in any of my videos, not on any papers, so here we go, I'll just put that there for... I can always find my way back home now. There we go. So yeah, I'm finally home, and the reason why I wanted the blaze rod so much was to make a brewing room, and I think it's gonna be down here. I think I'm going to make like a... like go through this way and make a little brewing room. Um, let me see here. Iron door with the pressure plate. Okay, I missed. And I got all iron armor again. Okay, that's good. So, I'm gonna go clear out room for the brewing room. I'll be right back. Okay, and I am finally back. I've got this great big spot cleared out. For the walls, I'm going to use this uh, red glazed terracotta I actually found. I think it's called a Badlands biome. So let's just see how this looks right quick. Red's my favorite color, so of course I'm going to use that as much as possible. I think for the floors, I'm going to use the purple glazed terracotta, though. I've never used terracottas in my, like, terracotta in my builds before, ever. So, uh, we'll just see how this goes. I'll just speed this up to when I'm done. I might actually, I think I'm gonna have to get some more, uh, terracotta. I don't think that two stacks is gonna fill up the walls. We'll see. Okay, as you can see, I don't have enough, uh, terracotta. So I'm gonna go, actually go upstairs. And I still have some terracotta left, I'll show you how I make it, <coughs> and I'm using two different kinds of terracotta right now. I'm using glazed terracotta, and well, I'm using a magenta glazed terracotta and the red glazed terracotta, and I'll show you how to make that. First, we'll sleep since it's nighttime. Okay. As you can see, I have two stacks of terracotta here. Put some cobblestone in there so I can get this out. I've got orange terracotta as well, which has already died, so I'm not really going to be using that right now. I don't need too many things of magenta, so I'm just going to take a few things out of here so I can actually fit it in here. I'll probably make two <coughs> batches of that terracotta, and I'll use this red dye as well. So to make terracotta, you just put the dye in the center put terracotta around it. Only going to be using two of that. And there we go. But, to make it have all those interesting uh, things around it, you got to put it in the furnace to smelt. So, I need a lot more red dye, so I'll just go out here and get some flowers right quick. Because the most that I'm going to need is I'm going to mostly need the red terracotta. I've never used terracotta for building before, but it looks quite nice when it's nice and glazed and everything, so let me see here. Ten poppies. Twelve dye. Yeah, that will be plenty, I would say. I shouldn't need that much more glazed terracotta to finish. Go in here, put that there. Let 
Okay, I still need a little bit more red dye. Maybe I have some poppies or something in here. I don't. Interesting. Ah. <clears throat> so we'll put 16 in there. 16 in there. 16 in there. I like to always put 16 in there. Usually doesn't take too long to make. Hopefully I didn't put actual terracotta in. Well, it seems like it's all red terracotta, so... Um, I just need to go get a few more... Um... Red poppies, or whatever. Red flowers of any kind. And the last little bit of terracotta... And red dye. Now I've got a bunch of red terracotta. Nice. I think I should be able to finish up the room with the amount of red terracotta I have. Okay, I'm just going to go put the amount of terracotta that I have right now in, and if I need any more, we know that there's a little bit smelting. This is the pattern I'm wanting to keep for this. There we go. And the floor is done. You know, I might actually build one f back. Yeah, I might not even have enough red terracotta after. I might have to go back to... Uh, through my portal to the Badlands biome and get some more terracotta. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to do that. Might not have to. I'm pretty sure I might have to, though. Well, guys, I'll cut to when I have this room complete. And I'm back! The room is finally complete. I'm about to show you that in just one second. So, I even did the hallways. It looks really nice. I put the brewing stand in the middle. Uh, put some lighting around the room so mobs don't spawn in. And I'm just showing you the pattern that I have right now for the magenta floor. I think it looks pretty nice. I try to keep it uh, nice and good and everything like that. So I have some glass bottles and over here so I don't have to keep filling up cauldrons. I just have an infinite water source. And there's three bottles. I'm going to just make some blaze powder because you need that for every brewing recipe. Put in the blaze powder. That's just going to stay there from now on. And a fermented spider eye. So, with the Splash Potion of Weaknesses, you don't need, which is strange, you don't need a Awkward Potion. It's just a bottle of water and the uh, Fermented Spider Eye. Instead of making the Awkward Potion, then putting the um, Fermented Spider Eye in. So, I'm, there you go. My first potions were made. I'm going to put in some Redstone Dust. Redstone Dust um, makes it so that it lasts longer instead of being one minute uh, one minute and 30 seconds I'm pretty sure it's gonna put it up to four minutes last time which I mean it doesn't you don't really need that for what I'm gonna be doing with it I just wanna make a zombie villager with it but as you can see 130 to four minutes yep I was right and I'm gonna put the gunpowder in there and that will make it a splash potion so you can just throw it down on the ground and get it done that way luckily I'm just going to put this chest in the corner right there, as you already seen. I put a bunch of stuff in it for brewing and everything. 
so let me see, just gonna wait for that to finish. It can take some time, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> takes quite a long time, and there we go. Three splash poster and weaknesses. I'm gonna keep one of them on me at all times, and I'm gonna probably put the other two back in here for now. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so you don't miss an up uh, another upload. Peace for now.